Uh, what is it? Four. What time is it? This is my last hand, boys and girls. This is it. Last hand for Bill. They're like, oh, he was raising no matter what. We're going to owe you 2K, and then we'll settle it afterwards. Last hand. Uh-oh. Wait, we might have a back. Someone will pay on our Yeah, yeah. I'll just leave the chips here. I'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. Doug is in charge of my three hands. Hands with the pocket tents. I appreciate it. In fact, there's only one person. 17. 17? Go the f*** that game is on. You didn't even ask for a discount. Back over to Alex, the British Bulldog. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. Oh, Jesus. That's true. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Lays it down. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bill Perkins, last hand at a 100, 200, 400 game at the lodge. He raises it up with the King Jack offsuit and the cutoff. Alex, in the big blind, opts to call with a five offsuit probably a little bit too loose, but whatever. Bill likes to get in there. You can probably splash too. Over around two hands in the straddle. He gets pocket tens, a real hand. So there's a raise to 3,000, a call. And now hands in the straddle opts to make it 17,000. A big three bet with the pocket tens. Nice, big, chunky raise. Back around to Bill. Should he call or should he fold? I actually think he should just fold. I know it's annoying. I know you're not trying to fold when you're playing $200,000 deep with anything in position, but you have to realize that hands three betting range should be super strong and just very linear towards the absolute best hands. Uh, hands is not a player who gets overly out of line with just nonsense. I mean, maybe he does every once in a while, but not really, right? He seems to mostly be in line. So he's gonna have a lot of ace king, ace queen, maybe king queen, maybe ace jack, maybe aces kings, queens, jacks, and you're gonna be super dominated. Bill's actually lucky to not be dominated this time. He can tell, so he opts to call. Ace five also folds. Let's head to the flop. <laughs> no, I mean, it's obvious you're folding. You're never calling after. I was not, not going to call. I was not going to call. I was not going to call. 20. 40. There's the raise from Bill. Amazing. Can we title this YouTube clip of Bill's hands? Bill's got a plane to catch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the turn. The flop comes. Six, three, two, no flush draw available. Hands, continuation bets, $20,000 into the $37,000 pot, which is perfectly reasonable. Over to Bill with the King Jack. This is an easy fold. This is a spot where when you continue in this pot and you improve to a king or a jack, sometimes you're still going to be beat. And that's the big problem with calling three bets with hands like King Jack, King 10, Queen 10, when they're off suit. Because whenever you do make top pair, you're not really looking to fold it, but you could easily be crushed by the strong big blo or the strong straddle three betters, aces, kings, queens, jacks, ace, king, etc. right? Like imagine a jack comes and hands has ace, jack, or pocket queens, or pocket aces. Bill's gonna lose a ton of money. And whenever a jack does not come, say a random card comes, Bill's also gonna be sitting there a king high. He's not gonna be in great shape, right? So facing a bet, you just gotta fold. But Bill doesn't care. He likes running bluffs. He likes putting people in dicey scenarios. And Bill does correctly realize in the spot that if he does raise the flop, all of hands, hands become bluff catchers. I mean, imagine you're in hand shoes with pocket aces. You bet this flop and get minimum raised. Are you really trying to stack off for $200,000 when Bill could obviously have sixes, threes, and twos for sets and also five, four suited? So he's in a tough spot. However, hands realizes Bill gets well out of line, therefore you're not really looking to fold any sort of pair. So in terms of hands that Bill would like to bluff, I know I keep saying hands because it's a guy's name and the word hands is said a million times in my poker videos apparently. You'll figure it out. Um, which hands Bill wants to bluff with, usually you're gonna have some sort of gut shot straight draw, like a five or a four, maybe king five of spades. I imagine Bill may splash with that preflop or a hand with backdoor flush outs potentially with backdoor straight outs, like eight, seven of diamonds. Eight, seven of diamonds would be pretty nice. Notice whenever you do improve to an eight or a seven, you're a little bit less likely to be dominated, which is nice. I mean, in this scenario, you still would be, but I think a hand like eight, seven of diamonds would be a pretty reasonable hand to bluff as well. But Bill chooses the stone airball, king jack, why not? Back over to hands. He has an easy call with his over pair. He does not want to re-raise here. If he re-raises, all of Bill's bluffs are just going to fold, and Bill's mostly going to be in the pot with hands that crush pocket tens. 
So I think Hans has a pretty easy call. Let's head to the turn. 117,000 in the pot. Okay. The turn is the nine of clubs. Hans checks as he should do with this entire range. Bill wises up. He realizes that Hans should have a whole lot of over pairs here. And he just gets out of the way. Fine, give up, move on with your life, get, catch your plane. Enjoy the trip. Check mark for Hans. The river is the six of diamonds. Hands. Makes a nice little $40,000 river bet. Trying to extract some value. Let's see how Bill proceeds. 40000 <laughs> Dude, defensive player of the year. Oh my God. I, I, Bill goes all really in. Matter. I have a plane to catch, and that's more important because my wife will be f so whatever happens, happens. <laughs> what? All right, I'll take care of it. Okay, I got you. Thanks. See you. Right, Bill right. is leaving after going <laughs> all in. Yeah, thank you. Should I give a discount or no? Can't no, do it three whatever, it, whatever Doug says. Doug can do whatever. I don't know. Doug can do whatever. I'll get, I, you, I'll get you a number I'm, from Doug. I'm going to just let that stand. Okay, guys. All right. Thanks. I don't feel comfortable offering a discount on whatever the hell happened over here. Oh! So. <laughs> uh, Bill left the life. building. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get you the contact. Has a plane to catch. Anyway, bet stands. I'm not offering a discount on whatever the hell. I think one K. One K off. You, you want one K back? All right. I'll tell you what. You can get one K back on this. So it's one K off. After almost no thought, Bill realizing he could easily have pocket nines, all sorts of sixes like a six suited, six five suited, six four suited, and the low sets, rips it in, and then he promptly leaves and says, eh, "You know, you guys figured out. Let me know if I win or I lose." It's a pretty boss movie. He has a plane to catch. I like it. <laughs> That's a good point, Dan. <laughs> and Hans is left with a decision. You can't get a read on however, <laughs> however, that 1K has to be in $5 chips. So we're going to go get you two racks of red, and you got to play with it for the rest of the session. <laughs> 1K discount. Just good marketing. Are you kidding me? That was like, that was a hell of a performance. <laughs> like you leave on this note? I can't believe you've resisted temptation not to have a look. This I don't want to. This is gonna be a good thumbnail. This is scary. <laughs> well, like, what if he tries to counter negotiate? I know the cards. I, I don't want. I don't want that. Yeah, I don't, for the best, no, yeah. we have to just leave it. Two racks of red back. But regardless of outcome, I think we have to see. We have to see it. This is it. Well, we Hans doesn't know what to think. Yeah. yeah, I will. I will turn it over regardless of action here because yeah. it's gonna eventually be. Yeah. Also, because it'd be funny. Yeah, that, that's, that's the main point. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. When you said, I mean, yeah, this is... It's hard to get a read on that guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks, he doesn't look nervous. What are you thinking? I mean, you don't have to worry about any health here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can show you every, have? You can show everyone what you, you have? have. Yeah, you can. All right. Okay, Hand shows everybody what he has. Imagine if he was slow rolling. Good night. He's like four sixes. <laughs> that would be the best slow roll of history. <laughs> Bill is watching in chat right now on the delay. He does not know what happened. Hard to think of that in the moment though, but it'd be so good. All sorts of commotion is going on. They're trying to figure out what in the world's happening. Hands is in a difficult spot because he does realize he actually does lose to a lot of Bill's nonsense hands at this point. What would you do? What I want to know is what would you honestly do if you had pocket tens here? Take a second. Think about it. Be honest and write what you would do in the comment section below. Do you really think that someone would just leave on a stone bluff? <laughs> had to catch an airplane. Um, Goes all, all right. in and leaves the building. Am I, am I able to use Miranda? Uh, I'm okay, thanks, Sam. Actually, okay, right? Yeah. You're allergic to Tina? Trina. Went to the bathroom. Trina. Which ones are the Trina? Oh, everything but Tina. Oh, this well, hand. Right oh, it's a big hand. It's a lagoon. It's a big right. hand. Big hand. <laughs> that small raise on the fluff did seem like maybe top pair or something. 
Yeah. What's the turn action? And I do have 200k back. Check, check. Yeah. Turn was checked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would change the negotiations. What's up? We have to renegotiate. Yeah. Hill <laughs> Perkins in chat says so suspenseful. Wow. So worst case, you have two hundred K and ten dollars. <laughs> Never seen no, anything no, like no. this, folks. In red, in red. I think I might go with it. I'm not envious of the food in the right now. <laughs> yeah, one more minute. When someone does something that is absolutely absurd, you can't really read too much into it. So first things first, let's try to figure out what good poker looks like. And this spot, ugh, I don't know. It's a tough spot. So then you want to consider, is Bill the type of player who likes to make creative bluffs or is he more of a tight, straightforward player? As Bill is more creative, splashy, and battly, you should probably be more inclined to call. As he is a little bit more straightforward, you should probably be more inclined to fold. I'll let you figure this one out. But I actually have to go get my kids from school and that's more important than this YouTube video. So click like and subscribe, and I'll let you see how this hand finishes out. Bye-bye. You have, Doug, you haven't seen his hand, have you? No. I'm actually really happy I didn't because this would be way more tense for me if I knew his hand. Yeah. It, it is be. really tense. <laughs> Dude, look at this moment right now. Yeah. This is like, up there for, for like all time stream moments. He he jammed two hundred or a hundred whatever over a river bet and just left town. <laughs> he's like in another city. Like, he's like, I don't have time for this shit. I'll Hans is later. laughing at that <laughs> comment. Then he asked us or before, are you gonna still be running it at three thirty AM? <laughs> I'll fly back to <laughs> I love playing poker with Bill. <laughs> Lays it down, oh, yeah. and Bill oh, Perkins no. uh, <laughs> from the Austin oh, airport. No, that's not. That's not. Does anyone want to take bets on this card? Holy shit! I've got four or five. I've got four or five. I got bluff too. I got bluff. I got bluff. It's a four or five. You got value. Four or five. We can go small if you want. Who case. wants to bet it's a four or five, like even odds? No, I like four. All right, we got you five. Want, you think it's a four or five? We got five hundred. I have one sheet. I'll bet against for two k. Anything except the four or five. Yeah, let's bet one k. One k. Yeah. All right, ready? Everyone knows. I ready? think it's a six of spades. I guess if it's a nine, it's on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and Phil Perkins. <laughs> Something we've never seen before. I don't think we'll ever see again. <laughs> A man goes all in, leaves the building, and finds out from the Austin airport that he just won. If he were here, he would say, I'm jacking off. <laughs>